All right, guys, welcome back to an, another week. This is round round 10, has just passed, so round 11 of uh, Big Tasty Supercoach Journey of 2020. I don't know, some name for it. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. Uh, this is a kind of rushed production because of the um, how the AFL is going at the moment with all the games in short time period and everything like that. It's get, this is getting filmed too early in the morning for my liking. Um, but anyway, uh, 2068 as the uh, score for the round. I did say top 5% is where you want to be, but I should have been a lot higher. I kind of got screwed um, with the AFL baiting me into thinking, uh, or Sydney baiting me into thinking Matthew Ling is an AFL player. Um, turns out he's not. Uh, he struggled in the uh, AFLW. Um, but yeah, the, the ranks going up not fast but it's going up i mean whatever uh, let's have a look at the team um defense we had three buys and um this might as well have been a buy i would have preferred it um i would have preferred the zero because then i'm not expecting a score but this is he's so bad i turned on the game he has three touches two of them are clangers one of them was out in the full He's so, so bad. Like, I say a lot of players are bad, but this might be the worst player of this year. Um, I had Ned McHenry. But this guy's so bad. Um, Ridley Tund, he got hurt. He got hit in the ribs by uh, Taranto. It didn't look too bad, but um, you know, waiting on results and stuff like that. Hopefully it's nothing, because Essendon... I'd say at the moment, you kind of want to stock up a little bit on Essendon and Melbourne players because they won't have a buy. I mean, that's just my thinking, but <clears throat> do whatever. Yeah, but hopefully it's not too bad. Maynard 106, pretty much 106 in three quarters. Uh, he missed most of the second quarter. Um, I think this was another hit in the ribs or something like that. I uh, know his was his shoulder, wasn't it? Um, kind of just went for a tackle a bit wrong and hurt the shoulder a bit he was fine though he played the next two quarters pretty much almost 100% on ground for those two quarters uh, as for the midfield uh, I can't, did I bring in Neil last week or the week before I think the week before uh, but 149 that's cool I did end up taking the score uh, that's why I have Cripps captain um, McRae 113 that's cool uh, did expect a little bit higher because I know a lot of people had the, um, the vice captaincy on him, or even some people with just the captain. I don't know why you do that. You know, to each their own. Oliver, the 205, the biggest score of the season. Um, the previous highest was 204. Uh, 205 is cool. Um, do it again. <laughs> Uh, let's see who, who they got. They got North. It's not going to happen. He, he'll, uh, North will bring the tagger out. Or something. Ben Jacobs can come out. Um, Danger eighty nine. Danger's looking so. Oh, it's not good. How he, apparently he's angry or he's grumpy. Um, according to Grind Myers, some shit. Um, hopefully he picks up. It's a one hundred seven average, so hopefully he can score a couple more one tens. Uh, the trade-in, Mitch Duncan, 101. That's cool. Um, I haven't got a complaint there. That's fine. Uh, Bont, 114. Finally tons again. Uh, it feels like it's like a 50-50 if he tons. All these players are coin flips, I swear. Um, Cripps didn't play, but he's back this week. Pickett, 68. Uh, so here's the thing. I think everyone, like your first priority should be to keep Pickett, but I think I might trade him out. Um... But that's just because I'm impatient. The bench, uh, Simpson played 72. That's cool. Uh, his break even should be fine. I think it's in the 20s or in the 30s. I mean, completely hittable. Um, so he should be looking at around 300k after this week, after this round. Uh, Bennell, 42. I mean, Bennell's kind of dying off. Um, but, you know, maybe he can push out another like 70 or 80 or something like that and fixes it McHenry's stupid um Gorn 107 Grundy 147 
it's cool and then draper oh my god i had depression for three quarters with this guy uh minus one for like at half time uh then the the third quarter he got up to like 20 it's like oh no i've traded in at 20 and it's like oh shit i've ruined everything and then he pushed it up to 74 which is one more than he scored last week so that's fine just keep scoring 74 um I mean, all he's here for is money, uh, because I did some calculations before, and next week I can have either my forwards done or my mids done. I'm thinking forwards though. Uh, we'll get into that in trades. The forward line: uh, Whitfield's out this week. GWS and Sydney have a buy. Um, one thirty-one. That's cool. Uh, a, a lot of possessions and a lot of like there was there was a stretch where. Uh, early in the season where Whitfield just wasn't going after the ball much. Uh, that's kind of fixed itself up. It's what's going back up to 100 average. I mean, the injury didn't help either. Uh, 111 for Dusty. Keep it up. Um, for him to keep this, you know, brown low form, as uh, the commentators would like you to believe. Um, what's that? That's one, two, three, five, five times in five games. It's pretty cool. Uh, his last five he's got Port this week um, I mean hopefully he turns against Port I don't know what Port's like against like how scoring is versus Port uh, I should actually look into that maybe he's vice captainable because say he kicks a couple of goals uh, actually I'm not sure I think you want Neil or McRae as your vice this week I'm going with Neil because it's just a little bit more, um, what's the word, reliable um, than McRae. Even though McRae's had a really good last couple of games. I think he can't really go wrong, but if you have McRae, I'd put it on him. Um, as for the other forwards, you've got Bailey Smith, 88. That's kind of deceiving. He played better than an 88. It's just the fourth quarter he was kind of missing and uh, didn't do much. I, th I think what it is, is he's just hit that, like, in basketball, the term is the rookie wall, where you just kind of, oh, this is how long the season is. You just kind of run out of stamina. Um, I think that's just what's happening with him. Hopefully he can push through and uh, get a couple more tons before the end of the season. But, I mean, everyone has him, so it's not, not that bad. Jai Simpkin, 103. That's cool. Uh, back to tonning. Like I said, it was just because he was injured. Uh, if you haven't got him, this is definitely like if you're if you don't have him and you're not bringing him in this week, uninstall Supercoach, uh, delete your team. This is the obvious in if you don't have him. Um, it, he was injured. His ankle. I mean, I don't think he's a hundred percent. Neither is Gorn. Actually, it came out in the week. He's playing with like a shoulder tear or something like that. Um. But yeah, that's that's just how it is. Uh, Simpkins, I don't think he's a hundred percent, but he should be fine enough. Uh, Rankin, eighty-three. His break-even was seventy-four, seventy-seven, something like that. He bro he beat it. Uh, that's good. Now his break-even is fifty something. He he's definitely tradable. It's kind of like Pickett. I'd say if you can hold him, hold him. But if you want to trade him, it's not the worst. I, I think there are much worse trades to do than trading Rankin. Bradley Close, uh, forward. It, it was just a forwards game where he didn't score much. Arts, 87. I, mean, I wish I had fielded him. Um, I, I thought the best of 18 would include the bench. I don't know why. My brain kind of switched off on that. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Uh, and I definitely say hold Arts if you still have him. Um, 87 and his break even is I think it's negative uh, it might be I think it's negative 11 that's what my brain wants to say but I'm don't quote me on that I'm really not sure and then Skinner oh I got baited into Skinner as well oh, I read the like feel good story on Skinner and it was like oh he's returned to football after however many games he was off and Brisbane love him even though he's not that good and he's been dropped. Uh, the lineups came out for the Brisbane uh, Dogs game, and he got dropped. 
I'm not surprised. You missed like a super easy sitter. Um, I mean, that's just bad. That's probably just a dead rookie now. Uh, it's two dead rookies. It's Rivers and Skinner is just dead. And I guess you could say McHenry and Ling. I mean, McHenry, if he gets up to 200k, then you can kind of do something with him. 200k is the line where you can kind of do something with that player. Um, but anyway, uh, that's kind of the team for this week. Not great scoring, but um, some some good scores, like 131. The 205. Um, it's not a bad week, just not an amazing week. Anyway, for trades. Uh, now, I tried this off screen. I'm trading out ranking this week. Um, reasoning his break even is 56 or 57. Uh, he's 281k, so I can bring in a premium player. Uh, and I just don't want as many rookies on field. Um, I mean, it doesn't mean I have to field close arts, close or arts, um, but yeah, I mean, field arts, maybe he scores 60, something like that. I mean, his average is 60, so maybe he just scores that. I'm trading Pickett this week. Now, like I said, if you can keep him, I'd say keep him. Um, his break even is low. He should be able to get up to about 370k, around about. Um, the only reason I'm trading him is because I'm impatient and I kind of want to finish the team a bit faster. Um, and I also have Simpson. Simpson's probably going to be 300k next week. And I did the math. I can do pick it out this week, Simpson out next week, and I finish the midfield. Um, but anyway, uh, and then in defense, Williamson out. Williamson's just shit. Um, it's just how it is. And I believe his break even is pretty high. It's like 60. I don't think he scored 60 since like his first week. But anyway, as for the trades, it will be bringing in. I uh, have to look him up. Shoal. There he is. Uh, Adelaide player. He played all right. He had a good first quarter uh, and kind of just died for the next three. But yeah, whatever. Kind of looking for whatever type of scoring you can. And defense is really one of the positions where there's not many rookies getting named each week. It's kind of shit, but, you know, you just got to put up with it. Uh, and then for the... How do I get this to work? I put it field down. I can't remember if this is how I did it. Oh, no, 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 this is how I did it. I'm not trading Pickett this week. I trade him next week. Bannell out, Whitfield down. Um, and I think I bring in the port guy that I should have brought in. Don't look at mids. Uh, where is he? Down here. Boyd. And then, no, that's wrong. Damn it. I should have taken a picture of how I got this to work. Hmm. How the hell did I make this work? Maybe it was Pickett. Let me try that again. Benault out Pickett. Definitely wasn't Arts out. Whitfield down, and then I field Simpson. This must have been it. This must have been how I did it. Because then I want uh, the number one averaging forward in. I mean, I'm probably bringing in at his biggest price of the year, 607. Uh, I think his break even's in the 130, so he should drop, but. I mean, you kind of, like I said, you kind of want to stock up on Melbourne and Essendon players. They haven't got a buy. Um, and the AFL is going to be weird with buys, so this is kind of what I'm going with. Maybe I don't want Boyd in. Got to avoid saying his last name. I don't know how YouTube's going to like it. Uh, let's see. Rookie forwards. Let's go to about there. Hmm, not many. Yikes, not many at all. 
Uh, I guess I could do that and then bring in Schoenberg. How do I like that? I don't... Oh, he's a forward. So I could have brought him in anyway. Hmm. That's actually not bad because Schoenberg didn't look too bad. Um, in Adelaide players, I mean, it's not hard to look good on Adelaide. And then next week, Wix comes in. So I go Simpson to Wix. Damn, I'm going to have to bring out the calculator again. But anyway, these are the trades. What? Is forward mid, why can't he be selected? Or is he just a mid? Yeah, the game's glitching up. Oh boy. I mean, Harold's son, come on, fix this. Now I'd find him again. Man, th this year, this game has been so glitchy. More than normal. Him back to forwards. Where is he? Schoenberg. And then I also want. Traga, there we are. Now, is it going to work this time? It should. Yes. I thought I put Whitfield in the midfield. Hmm. Anyway, I'll have a look at that off screen, whatever. Put that on, and Whitfield off for Arts. And then next week, I'll have Whitfield back. Uh, I can trade Arts if I want to. Uh, then it's next week. Do I trade out Simpson to finish the midfield, or do I trade Arts out to finish the forwards? Then, you know, just anyone. I'd, I'd feel Rivers over Lynn. So, game day. Uh, actually, this week's the big week. Um, first in my mate, uh, Steven. He, you might know his YouTube channel. Uh, Steve R. Steve R800. Let's see. Now, apparently the buys are hitting his team pretty hard this week. Yeah, Cornelio, Haynes, Lloyd. Hmm. I don't know who he's bringing in. Or who's he bringing in? He's got Greenwood. Greenwood's actually who I'm looking at. Uh, he's probably the sixth forward. Him or Walters? Hopefully Walters can, like, come back, have a really bad game, score 30, and then, you know, <laughs> I'll bring him in. But anyway, that's the match up for this week and kind of the team it's a short week and it's kind of like a off video i probably don't sound too good um but anyway that's kind of just what we have to do because corona season baby um anyway see you all next week tasty out